We're going to take a look at the CCI Velocitor 22 long rifle. This is a fast moving little 40 grain bullet. Advertised velocity is 1,435 feet per second. This is not going to be a traditional plinking or target load, although I guess you could use it for that, but it is designed for small game. So if you're hunting squirrels and rabbits and so forth, I've even read accounts of folks using this on coyote, this might be something you want to take a look at. Um, fast moving, 1435, I'm actually coming in a lot less than that on my Ruger 1022. That is an 18 and a half inch barrel. Notice this also has open sights. That will be notable in just a moment. I'm coming in at 1,328 feet per second, 10 shot average. My high was 1364, the low was 1294, so quite a spread on that. Uh, they are using what they refer to as the little gold dot hollow point. You might be familiar with the gold dot on your defensive handgun loads. They've also incorporated this into a 22 bullet, and I was not aware of that. So stick around. I'm going to give you a couple of tests with this, again, out of the Ruger 1022. If you've been around the channel long enough, you know that I don't like shooting paper, so I'm going to compromise paper on steel. 25 yards, 10 shots, open sights. Well, once I lost my bearing by blowing out the center of the target, uh, things got a little bit more difficult. But in any event, if you take out a couple of those flyers, I'm coming in, uh, I'd say an inch, maybe less than that, on the group. If you kind of focus on the center of that. But again, that was open sights. You're going to do much better with a scope, and I think you're going to do quite well with this ammo at even 50 and possibly 100 yards. I have a couple of 12 inch steel plates set up 75 yards down range. Probably hard to see, let me help you out. They weigh about 13 pounds a piece. You gotta put some energy on them at that distance to make them drop. Let's see what I can do with the 40 grainers. Well, looks good to me. We've got block, 14 inches of the SimTest Media, calibrated to ballistic gel specs, one shot, 25 yards. I'm going to take this indoors because of the noise from all the cicadas but we have good placement and it's in the block. Okay, I've located the track and entry was here. Check out this initial expansion cavity. That is about four tenths of an inch from top to bottom and from that point to this point here it is just over three inches. That is incredible. 22 caliber bullet at 25 yards. That impact is just incredible. It's still got some energy going on there. The path continues on. You can see seven, eight, nine, ten, and right at eleven inches. I'd say about eleven and an eighth. If you bear with me just a second, you can actually get a better view of this from the other side of the media. There it is there. And I'm going to take this out and get some measurements for you in just a moment. Diameter is consistent all the way around, 0.351. Retained weight, we are coming in at 39.2 grains. The Velocitor seems to be reasonably accurate in a stock off-the-shelf Ruger 1022 delivers sufficient energy downrange, excellent penetration and expansion characteristics. 22 long rifle sure has come a long way. Thanks for watching.